Okay, I know it's been a while since I've um, done a video. I am um, been very busy work, you know, the usual. But I want to say hello to all my new subscribers. Um, thanks for subscribing to my channel and being patient. Because I know, that, like I said, there hasn't been any videos in a while. But, um, I figured today was a good time to do, let's talk about my regimen. And it's changed as I've learned more and more about my hair. What I've done to it as I've grown, of course, products have changed. Products are always changing. But um, this past year, I think I've been trying to be consistent in the products that I use. And so um, I kind of stick to two to three products, I think. For the most part. Okay. So I'm going to start with shampoo. Um, I just added the Diva Pool to my regimen. Um, Diva Curl No Pool, I'm sorry, to my regimen. It has absolutely no suds, anything. I've um, been using this for about three weeks, once a week. And um, I like it. I think it gets the job done. My scalp feels good because it must have like peppermint or something in it, so it feels good, tingles. Um, so this is definitely what, you know, I've been using this and I enjoy it. Now, prior to adding that to my regimen, I would use um, Come Clean, which is like a clarifying shampoo by Kinky Curly. But, and that was fine, you know, it did the job. When you really want your hair to be clean, you can use that, especially if you're going to use the Kinky Curly. But, for about the past, I don't know, seven, eight months, I've been using the Curls line. And I really love these products. However, oh, and I can find them now in my local, um, local beauty supply store. However, the shampoo, this size bottle is not... It's just not worth it. And so I don't use it, because this bottle is so small, I only use it sparingly because I don't want to run out. But now I know I can go pick it up at the beauty supply store. I might, I might use it more often. It does a great job at cleansing your hair, and it's creamy, and it lathers. However, like I said, this size bottle, she needs to make an in-between bottle between this one and the one that costs like $60 because, yeah. This is not, she needs to make a bottle this size. And this is the actual conditioner. Like, I love this. This is the, this stuff is great. The Coconut Sublime um, Conditioner. So, we use this and that. The other conditioners, besides like co-washing conditioners, herbal essence, or Tresemme um, nat line, Naturals line, um, still am a fam, fan of... Honey Hemp Conditioner, and I use this both for detangling, co-washing, deep conditioning. This is like my go-to all-in-one shampoo. I mean conditioner, I'm sorry. This is that all-in-one. And I think my next purchase is going to be a bigger size bottle of this. Because I use, like I said, Zeus this all the time. Um, for deep conditioner, like I said, besides using this for a deep conditioner... Um, I also use the Aubrey Organic Honey Sucker Honey Rose Conditioner, and I apply this and I sit under the dryer for however long, you know, 20, 30 minutes. Um, now for leave-ins, I had been looking for a water-based leave-in for a while. I had used Hervada, but once I ran out, I didn't order any more of their daily conditioning. So... I started using Oyen's hairdo. Oh, yes. Thank you, Oyen. This stuff is fabulous. Like, I'm sure you've all seen the reviews. This gets two thumbs up. This was in, I put this in my hair. Like, my hair is mostly dry. It's damp. I put this in my hair, then I apply my styler, then I seal. This is where it's at. I love the honey hairdo. It smells like cookies. The smell phase after a while to me um, has all great things in this. So this is definitely a staple. Like I said, I think when I order a big thing of Honey Hem, I'm going to order a big thing of the hairdo in my next product purchase. Now as far as um, 
stylers for my lash and goals. I'm still a fan of Kinky Curly Curly Custard. It's probably my third jar. Um, and I use I I haven't used it much because it's been so cold, but I cannot wait. I live in Ohio. So I cannot wait until it's a little bit warmer for me to wear my hair out wet. So come June, this will probably be what I'll be using mostly. And then not today. Um, like I said, been a big fan of Curl Souffle. Look, just scrape the jar clean. And now that I can order, get this on the ground, I can go ahead and use this last little bit of crumbs here. But yes, so I use this, use this for my um, twist outs. Um, and then, so when I ran out of this, instead of ordering another jar of this, I decided to re-up on the Shine and Define and the um, Whip Pudding for Two Strand Twist. Not for Wash and Go. Not for Wash and Go. Because when I was first in my Big Chop, I could use this for Wash and Go, but now I don't think so much. So I take a little dab on my finger of Shine and Define, a little dab of the Whip Pudding, and I do my Two Strand Twist. They're soft. They're defined, they look great. So that's what I use to do my twist. Um, I use 100% olive oil gel, I need to slip back. Um, I've also implemented, I haven't done it this month, but I did do it last month, henna. And I really like my results. And I have a video, but the video's not that great, so I may try it again when I do, do it the next time around, which should be coming up here. Um, I'm trying to think what else. I've been thinking about getting my hair cut. Um, I don't know. I'm just going back and forth whether, you know, whether it's that I need to get trim or do I need to get it. Um, if I need to get it cut, cut. So I haven't really decided yet. So, so yeah. So other than that, weekly, I shampoo weekly. I have to because if not, I will have the itchies like crazy. So I shampoo weekly. I deep condition weekly. Um, when I wear my signature style as a twist out, I retwist every night for the most part. Unless I'm like really tired and being lazy, then I'll do like the pineapple method. Just almost had, as you see it. I put ponytails here, ponytail here, one here and two back here. In the morning, get up and shake. So, I, um, so yeah, twist out is my signature style. Sometimes I may add a roller to it, but for the most part, I just wear it like this. And tonight, I'm going to sit in the dryer for about 15 minutes because last time I did my hair, my hair wasn't dry. So, I want to make sure it's dry in the morning since I'm doing it so late and I have to get up only in a few hours. So, shampoo weekly, I only clarify, did I talk about my clarifier? The Suave's Daily Clarifying Shampoo, I only clarify once a month. Or, I don't know if the spirit moves me to clarify more often, but just once a month. So, shampoo, deep condition. Um, I used to, oh, I do seal with Batico oil, which is just souped up coconut oil from Hervedum. Which, I, I like it, I like how it smells. But, um... I used to pre-poo, and I haven't pre-pooed in probably like two months, but um, I would take the Batico oil, apply it all over it, and detangle, and then twist, put a shower cap on, and then um, come back, and then shampoo my hair. But I haven't done that in a while, but I may try to add that back into my regimen, but I'll always seal. So, or I add this to my conditioner. So that's really it. Um, I'm trying to think if there are any other updates. None, none really. I'll, maybe I'll come back on and show you my final look um, tomorrow. How my hair has grown, because it's grown a whole lot. But thanks so much for watching. Have a good night.